What if we drop a hydrogen bomb on North Korea? Perhaps you have asked yourself this question after Donald Trump said he would totally destroy North Korea if necessary to defend the United States or its allies. So what would happen if the United States dropped a hydrogen bomb on North Korea? Would it be good? Would it be bad? That's what we're going to talk about right now on Life's Biggest Questions. Hello and welcome back to LBQ. I'm your host Charlotte Dogray. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe and let us know in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. To understand what might happen if we dropped a hydrogen bomb on North Korea, we we must look at the last time the United States dropped a similar bomb on an enemy country. When America dropped the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it killed every person within a mile radius. The death toll was 200,000. But experts say those atomic bombs were little guys compared to a hydrogen bomb. Hydrogen bombs are a lot more advanced and a lot more powerful than atomic bombs. The hydrogen bomb has the potential of being 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb. They cause bigger explosions which in turn causes more heat, radiation and shock waves. The reach is much larger with a hydrogen bomb, anywhere between 5 to 10 miles. Both bombs have the capacity to kill people in seconds. In the aftermath of the atomic bomb, people's internal organs ruptured, buildings were crushed. Experts say that a hydrogen bomb could kill significantly more people than the atomic bomb, as well as wipe out entire cities. If the US dropped the hydrogen bomb on North Korea's capital, Pyongyang for instance, it would be completely wiped off the map. 2.5 million people live in Pyongyang. It would be assumed that most, if not all of those people would be killed instantly. Those 2.5 million people are for the most part innocent civilians that are victims of a tyrannical government. Just because they have a crazy person for a leader, that doesn't mean they deserve to die. Furthermore, everyone that lives in the region would be affected. One has to remember that South Korea shares a border with North Korea. South Korea is allies with the United States. China is also very close to North Korea. There is only 100 miles of distance between the largest Chinese city along the North Korean border and Pyongyang. Japan is also allies with the United States and they are only around 400 miles from North Korea and they would feel the effects of the fallout as well. If the US drops a hydrogen bomb on North Korea, they are effectively putting everyone in the surrounding area at risk too. Apart from the extensive loss of life, dropping a hydrogen bomb on North Korea would have serious consequences for the environment. The explosion would send radioactive particles into the air, soil and water. Wind will carry the particles hundreds of miles away from the explosion. Seeing as North Korea is very close to the Pacific Ocean, this could cause serious problems for marine life as well. The smoke could block out sunlight, making it impossible for plants to use photosynthesis to survive. The radioactive particles could devastate plants, animals as well as humans. Radioactive particles damage cells by causing changes in genes, which causes mutations in future generations. The effects of radiation will have lasting effects as well. When the United States tested a series of atomic bombs by Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands, residents that lived anywhere near the site had to move, as there were high levels of radiation in the crops and water. Nearly 60 years later, the island is still uninhabitable. The difference between dropping the atomic bomb that was dropped on Japan at the end of World War II and the possibility of dropping the hydrogen bomb on North Korea is that Japan attacked the United States first at Pearl Harbor. At the time this video was filmed, North Korea has not attacked the United States yet. Attacking a country who has not attacked first would effectively make the United States a war criminal. The atomic bomb was used to effectively end World War II and perhaps deter anyone from ever dropping a bomb like it again, let alone a hydrogen bomb that is 1000 times more powerful. If the United States dropped a hydrogen bomb on North Korea, it would change how the rest of the world feels about them. Washington's influence in Europe and the rest of the world would fade significantly, as all the allies attempt to distance themselves from the nation who violated its own fundamental values of human rights. To this day, a hydrogen bomb has never been used in battle by any country, and let's hope it does not start with North Korea. I'm Charlotte Dobre for Life's Biggest Questions. If you like this video, you should definitely check out What If Kim Jong Un Was Assassinated? or How Much Damage Can a Hydrogen Bomb Do? That is all for now, and thanks for watching Life's Biggest Questions.